Hello and welcome back to the channel. Recently I did a video about M27 Dumble Nebular. I imaged this beautiful target using my Skywatcher 200 PDS Newtonian telescope. You can find this deep sky object in the constellation of Valpecula. The nebula has been discovered by Charles Messier in 1764. Due to the lack of high quality telescopes at this time, Charles Messier described this nebula as a nebula with art star. I already spoke about this man in recent videos. I came across this bearded uh, gentleman. His name is Isaac Roberts and he really accomplished great things when it comes to astrophotography. When he started astrophotography in the 19th century, he was one of the pioneers in this field. He was a Welsh astronomer and was born in 1829 and died in 1904. He not only had his own observatory in Sussex, he also included something we are all using nowadays in astrophotography. I'm speaking of a device which counteracts the rotation of the Earth. By the way, if you like the content so far, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This would really help me uh, growing this channel and produce more videos. If you want to support me, you can also uh, buy me a cup of coffee. Um, you can find a code here or the link in the description. Thank you so much and now continue with the video. Seeing the pictures Isaac Roberts created in his time, um, it's amazing what he accomplished. Also to the standards we have today. Wow. Every time I see photographs uh, Isaac Roberts did of a deep sky objects and so on, I'm Wow, it's, it's just crazy. I mean, when he did this 140 years ago or earlier, um, normal photography was actually just invented of, yeah, maybe 20 or 30 years ago. And it's, it's just amazing. He imaged not only galaxies, but also nebula. And if you are also interested in the works of Isaac Roberts and want to see even more pictures, not only digital pictures, I have a yeah, book recommendation for you. Actually, it's a two books, part one and part two. And this is actually a modern edition of his uh, work. And it's called A Selection of Photographs of Stars, Star Clusters and Nebulae. And in those books you find many cool pictures, black and white pictures, and also um, yeah, nice details about uh, imaging and so on. I highly recommend those books. And of course he also photographed M27 Dumble Nebula. And here you can find it. As I said, um, many cool information about uh, actual imaging. In this book, you can really find many cool details about, yeah, about the imaging and so on. Isaac Roberts uses 20 inch reflector and he imaged in the night of the 3rd of October, 1888. Today I'm filming this in end of October, 2023. So, almost to the day 140 years later. That's so cool. The total exposure time was three hours. Let's see how I will do. Let's compare the image of Isaac Roberts from 1888 versus my image. I did not use a 20 inch reflector, but an 8 inch reflector. And of course I used a modern astrophotography camera. Using my Skywatcher Explorer 200 PDS Newtonian telescope or reflector telescope, this one. Um, and I also used a CWO ASI 2600 MC Pro camera 
and the Optolon L Pro filter. It's a light pollution filter. But now let's compare it to my result. That's actually a very nice comparison, I think. Of course, my image has more uh, details and so on because I'm using modern technology. Um, but I was really interested to see uh, if I can really see um, the nebular expanding. There's a really cool guy doing astrophotography and he imaged and still imaging Messia 1, M1, the Crab Nebula, and he's doing this um, yeah, at least once per year. And so he did this, I think, over 10 years or longer. And because of the high expansion rate of this nebula, I think it's about 1500 kilometers per second, uh, he was able to create an animation uh, where you can really see uh, the nebular expanding, M1 expanding. It's really cool. I also um, explained this and showed this in another uh, recent video or past video. Um, so this is very interesting. I looked it up and found a value for the expansion rate of M27, the dumbbell nebular, of about 27 to 30 kilometers per second. So compared to the expansion rate of M1 with about 1000 or 1500 kilometers per second, it's quite slow, quite uh, yeah, significantly slower expansion rate of M27 versus M1. Okay, fine. But keep in mind that we now have at least one picture from Isaac Roberts from M27 uh, 140 years ago. And we also have a picture from this year, 2023, of M27, which I created. I was really interested to see if I can really see some kind of expansion between the image by Isaac Roberts of M27 versus my image. And um, they are 140 years apart and I thought maybe it's possible to see something. And uh, let's see. I don't know what about you, but I can see some kind of expansion. And isn't this cool? I mean, of course, that's not a scientific experiment and so on. You also have some variations and so on. You have different uh, resolutions and so on. But I really try to align not the nebula itself to the old photograph by Isaac Roberts, but aligning the single individual stars. Isn't this cool? That's all I have for you today. Uh, unfortunately, recently I was not able to really do imaging or astrophotography because 
yeah, let's say the weather was not optimal. Uh, we had uh, lots of rain <laughs> and clouds, of course. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Clear skies. Thank you.